Hello, I'm Martin back at X with a quick market update for the International Business Times UK. Markets around Europe are on the back foot today, but given the circumstances, the performance is actually okay. Lots of news flow to deal with, particularly concerning the banks. Moody's Investor Service last night executing a downgrade on about 15 of 17 big investment banks that have what they call global capital markets operations. Now, 10 of those were in Europe, three right here in the United Kingdom. But Moody's had flagged up the ratings downgrades back in February, and the market reaction has been pretty tepid. It has to be said. At the same time, we get a bit more detail about Spain's capital needs for its banking system from a private report that was published last night. Under extreme scenarios, the banks are probably going to have to pile another 62 billion euros worth of capital inside their balance sheets to protect against not only a fall in house prices, but a contraction in the economy. Now, that's less than the 100 billion that they could get from the EU once negotiations are complete. And investors did seem to like the news, and they lifted the price of a lot of Spanish banks as a result. Well, that said, though, yesterday we had a pretty significant decline in U.S. stocks. That bled into the Asian session and really ignited concerns about a global economic slowdown. We saw a lack of business confidence reported in China and again today in Germany. And probably most troublingly in Italy, the worst reading of household consumer confidence since the mid-1980s, all of it percolating to create another set of economic concerns for one of Europe's hub economies that will probably begin to show its head into next week. We'll keep an update on all of those issues, of course, as they develop inside the European Crisis Live blog. Please check it out at ibtimes.co.uk.